All right, another quick update here on the DC to DC charger wiring. So I know I would have liked to have been able to see this when I was doing my research back when. So first things first, you gotta find a place to mount your fuse. So I fabbed up a little bracket here that I made out of a piece of uh, scrap metal. So left a little room for expansion just in case. But that's gonna be a nice short wire run right into the existing grommet. Try and get a shot here. Or the existing hole, rather, that I've added a grommet to, like I was talking about, the proper way to do it so it doesn't get chafed. And then I've still got to add the little piece that goes right to the battery, but that'll be the positive that's going to sit right about there. That'll be nice and short. I won't have anything that it can rub on. I'll have to trim the fuse holder so that I can go down instead of out, out the back here. Do I have the, yeah, I got it in my pocket here. So that's going to clamp on there like that. Into the body here. We come around town. That's a better shot of the grommet there. I'll put a little bit of sealant to take up the space. You want the wire to be able to move a little bit. You don't want it completely clamped. See a little bit of movement. That's perfect. A little bit of sealant on that. So then I came over into the trough, the factory trough, GM, the classy fellas. Left me enough space into the main trough here into the second part of the trough and around. And old Ryan will be mounted up there. This is a uh, six gauge wire which is the largest that you can go with on these screw type terminals that the Orion has. So that's good to know. Don't think you can uh, you know put four gauge in and then be able to upgrade to a different charger later which would be nice but the screw type terminals kind of limit you but the floor inspection that I was touching on before a closer inspection I've got some work to do and see the rust starting bubbling right under there and then a few of these raw spots where something's been rubbing I'm surprised I didn't notice that when I put my brand new e-brake cables in the penny pinchers down at GM Someone's paid good money to find out the shortest wire run. Not only the shortest and most economical, but the safest. So, that'll probably be the most ideal spot for that. Away from any foot traffic and possible moisture buildup. Hopefully not. So then for shore charging, I've got this old block heater cord that I used to use on my old Subaru. I'm uh, just going to repurpose that. Got one of these, you know, triple enders here, the splitters. Uh, two fifty, two dollars fifty cents on sale for Princess Auto. We'll put that in that end here, and that'll give me outlets to shore charge on. All right, sometime later here, we've got all the shore wiring ran. Both the DC to DC charger wiring and the shore both fit in this trough. I haven't closed it yet. I'll wait till the very end to do that. So I don't have to go back in there. Just to have a three-way splitter that I picked up today on sale. I've still got to pick up a female end for it here. I just didn't want to pay seven bucks regular price. I'll wait for those to go on sale. Let's see both grommets here. I'll put a little bit of sealant on those, just to make sure it's completely dust and air and watertight. I've got the shore charger wiring routed under the battery box here. I'll put some loom on that once it's back in stock at Princess Auto. That's the block heater cord there. I'll run those both kind of together and stash them under the battery box. Tons of room up front here. 
you're gonna mount something. Some people put their diesel heater tank in there. It's gotta be pretty small though, I imagine. All right, so that's where we're leaving off for today. I've gotta get another terminal. I don't have the right size one to go from here to the battery. Not a big deal though. The interstate's back in. Little Megatron too. These are from Amazon. They uh, are a good purchase. Block heater, shore power. This will be for the DC DC charger, of course, and then the factory battery connections. All right, I think that's it for up here. I showed you the shore power wiring. That's just gonna stay just like this, looped up under the driver's seat. I've got it coming through the factory cutout in the floor. That's where we're at. Still haven't done my cleanup, still have to do that. My better, because I'm starting to lose my mind looking for tools.